Welcome to Island Lime. It's your girl, Whitney Husbands. And tonight, it is the penultimate episode. And I must do it with class, finesse, and with a bang. That is most important. So before I introduce my guests, I need to send some love to my sponsors. The Go Play app, the Go Loud app, also to American stores, Lullabies, and I can't forget for this lovely venue, Song Forge, and my main sponsor, Carrie Bay, making sure I am always refreshed. And remember, it's the drink of choice when you're listening to my podcast. So we are not going to stick. It's time for me to introduce a man who has been in this industry for a very long time. He is no stranger, not just to Trinidad and Tobago, but to the world. People love him. When we see him on stage, he brings the vibe and energy that we love. And he is the monarch and the road march winner for 2021. Please give a virtual welcome to my special guest, mm -hmm. Farmer Nappy. Thank you very much. I make you blush with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Farmer, finally, you're here. Welcome to my little island. Thank you very much. You like it? Yeah, nice. A little thing. It's cozy, right? Yeah, nice. So since it's cozy, I want you to take your glass. It's only right we have to cheers to life, success, and happiness. And happiness. Yeah. And more wealth too. Just saying. Let's Thank take a sip you. to that. Yes. Thank you. So farmer, I realize that you're drinking water. Mm -hmm. And Many times I will see you out and you don't drink alcohol at all. Why is that? I'm a recovering alcoholic. Okay. Uh, 18 years. Well, this year I make it 19. I don't drink. You know, I used to drink before. And mm. like, you know, sitting, I was out of control and drinking. You know what I mean? And um, that a time in your life where it's either your, your career or your habit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And my brother Marshall, you know, he came and he told me, see, you know, you have a drinking problem and in order to fix yourself, in order to work with me and continue working with me, you have to go and fix yourself. So I take the advice and I went to AA meetings and stuff. Right. And I used to still drink after AA meetings. And one day I, I said, well, all what you're doing, you're going to this meeting and you're fooling yourself. And I started to go deep into it and here's certain things. One of the things is blackout. You said blackout, like? No, well, one of the things they explain is blackout. Blackout okay. is something where you are awake for the night, but you don't know what you do for the night. Like, okay, you'll go to sleep or whatever, whatever you do, and the next day you get up and nobody ain't talk. yeah, nobody ain't talking to you, and you don't know what happened. But one person will come and explain to you and say, yo, last night you was ridiculous, and, and you know, explain what you do. And I, you I have no recollection of what happened no, the night and before. No, that happened with me two times in life already. But when you hear it from people who used to drink and yeah. they in the meetings, and I, I started to love going to the meetings. And I mean, and it helped me raise 18 years. I don't drink alcohol now. 19, this February going here. So is it a challenge still for you because it's 19 years that you have not touched alcohol? Yeah. I just bring, when I travel and I'm duty free, I just buy rum and thing and bring home. Okay. Now I'm not supposed to do that, right? But I, I just challenge myself. Okay. Right? Is, is I watching that and I watching around my place and saying, well, you know, w w drinking, not drinking alcohol do, do better for me than drinking alcohol. So it's just, you know, people could come by me and I could offer them a drink. Yes. But it's your mind. I just challenge myself, you know, it's, my, it's your mind. So, wow. But... Yeah, it's strong. Yeah, very strong because I know what it do for me and what it can do for me. Yeah. And what it, what it, what it can do for me, do, it do better for me. So... Is your mind and, and, and I had to save myself, my career, save me then. And, and, and one of the things is, I was married before at a young age. What, what, what is young? 18? 19. Okay. You know what I mean? And um, if somebody I saw, I like that person, I get married, but knowing me and living with me is two different things. You know what I mean? But I went through the experience. But while I with her, I used to be drinking. Okay. And one of the things is, I would like to apologize to her. Because she was around me when I was drinking, you know what I mean? Being around me now with somebody different, so I wouldn't like to apologize for what mistake I made around her, you know what I mean? But sometimes me ain't drinking and she say, you still drink today or whatever, but it's, it's sweat or sweat. It, it, it be coming out of your pores. Yeah. So, alcohol is a no-no for me no more, you know what I mean? Wow, well, fam. Yeah. 
that was really deep. I, I, when exp I know sometimes people wouldn't want to express no. something so deep and personal. I will tell the world it. Because there are a lot of people, I'm sure, that um, had to go through that alcohol addiction mm. and still have to face that every single day. And you're in an industry where mm. everything is rum and wine and yeah, jam and, yeah, yeah. and it's r alcohol is always in the yeah, center. No. The, the twin bother me because I know what it... <laughs> I know the achievements I get after stop drinking alcohol. Yes. You know what I mean? And one of the things too is last year, January, it was very, it was very deep to me that I you know, normally like home here will have a Bible. Mm -hmm. I know my mom have a Bible, my grandmother had a Bible and they will have it to open a psalm. I believe in God, but I never really used to pick up the Bible. Yeah. And a friend of mine told me, she said, whatever you do, God does be jealous too. He's a jealous and God. You say you pick up your Bible, and from since last year, January to now, it's like every day I read in my Bible. You know what I mean? So it's just, you know, fam, I'm a different world now, now, and a happy world because it's just a peace of mind. Yeah. yeah we, could, we could see that with you, though. Yeah, peace of mind. I mean, your blessings, you have been get, receiving your blessings yeah, because man. God knows your heart at yeah. the end of the day, yeah. and you have accomplished so much mm -hmm. over the years. This is what, 20 plus years you have been no, in the business? 40 years. 40, you see? Yeah. I, I take it off, I shred it off 20. Mm. And no, no, I, I was say 38 <laughs> because Marshall is going to be 40 years next year. Right. And he, we start off together, we start off supporting him in, in like Calypso competition for the school and in, in, in City Hall. Okay. We used to go be coming up with him and supporting him. So I was always, you know, I was always a team player. You know what I mean? Because I always believe that four of us, one have to go. Let us support that person and that person will bring all of us. So yes. I, from small, I always, you know, I believe in team. I believe in that too. Yeah. If you don't have a strong team, yeah. you wouldn't be able to, yeah. you know, propel yourself mm -hmm. further because your backing is important yeah. also. Very. Farmer, you're amazing. You see what I meant? <laughs> this show can go all and on with you because it <laughs> seems like you have so much to say and Tabula. a story to tell. And yeah. But let me congratulate you face Thank to face. You. Thank you very much. The monarch yeah. and the road march king. Yeah. Thank Such you. A, a difficult year we came out of and you brought a song where persons were able to let loose and feel like it's still have hope to do something in your is, backyard. The song is really not my song. You know, I want to say enough respect to Red Boys, Mikey Holzmeyers and Scott Gull. Yes. You know, it's Mikey who sent me the song. So when you heard it, it was... This song is not really happening with this song. Mm. It was somebody very special in my life. I had a call her name, right? Nadia Batson is my loving sister, everything, right? But I have an artist in Trinidad way. She's so special to me, Jed. I used to be very hard on her. Mm -hmm. Because I know what she, what she could do and who she is. And I was Patrice. I always said, Patrice is somebody who, when she came in the band with us, I used to be, you have to do this and you have to do this. She used to get fed up on me. You know what I mean? And she's supposed to really be back at Jam Rhythm Miss Patrice and her song. You know what I mean? And however, the song came to me. I have other songs that yeah. I was going and do video. And you know, it came to me and said, yo, if you like this song, rest them, rest a song. You will, you will do your thing with it, but record this and go and do video for it. And it, I just do what, it's, what, what was told to me. Yeah. And, and, and it just happened way. The song came out. Patrice does record a million tune. Right? And she, right now, I just call she the front run nine things because every song she record. Hit. It's not only hit. Is she always doing a video for everything she mm -hmm. sings. She talking and all and doing video. Mm -hmm. So it's something what I watch me. It is virtual now. You can't just it's release a song. To, yeah, and you have, have no, to do video. Yeah. So we in business become more money now for we to spend. But I always believe in this is what mining me and you know what I mean? Let me spend it and let me go and get it. Because at the end of the day, I have to mind my business. Yes. And I went on the rhythm. The song is very high. Backyard Jam is yeah. very high because they raised the key of this song, this, this rhythm for Patrice. Okay. Because Patrice is the person supposed to be on this first. When they send it for me, I go on. I go as hard as I could go with it and make it. Thanks to Curry's, Kyle, Kyle Phillips' sister, and mm -hmm. Kyle me record it with me. I do all the loop at, then they say, I say, let me change the melody on the iPad. They say, now nah, you can do it. And I end up doing it. They, they, right. they push me to do it. And you performed it live. 
perfectly but i would have never perfectly known that. perfectly with lil excuse when it come on it and then i again red boys and say say so patches do she vocals no not yet so okay patches when you going to do your vocals on this so i chuck in she because it's me and patches on this road i'm running as a i'm a sister yeah she come boom, 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 she do she vocals they end up coming out way back here they end up coming out first and Patrice ended up doing her vocals, yes. um, so Lyrical ended up doing one, TC ended up getting an opportunity yeah. to deal with it. So when the rhythm came out and everybody come out now, this rhythm is, uh, this, this is God, eh? They sent yeah. a song for me, it went out. Patrice come out after and the, Patrice come out, right? Patrice song started going a different way because the other day I a party and I went and I, I was calling for the pastor. Because I hear you preach, but I just want you to know that we entertain as we just be singing gospel tune in the party. And when he come and I say, I say, you want gospel tune? And I let go for three songs, but as I come in, the man started to dance. Yeah. You understand? I say, this is gospel too. So notice that we singing good music. Yeah, it's not and just... Lyrical, you know, so the, the rhythm come with everybody's song was real big on it. And this is God it's works. Different so. style. It's different. So the God works. So I, I, I thank the Red Boys. I thank Shaf as the writer. I thank Patrice for the motivation. You understand? And I thank the public because this is for the public. This is for, for, for the people. This is not for no organization. This song was for the people. For us. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. for the people to feel something too. And if they don't want we on the road, we respect the COVID, everything this and that. They still could have come and give you a little open. Something, you know what I mean? But they ain't give it. It's right in the backyard. And while we're in the backyard, we remember better days are coming, right? And we're in a happy place in our lives. We're in a happy place. <laughs> and when it start to rain, we're going in the inside. Oh, now. my goodness. Yeah. All right. So listen to this. I have a little game that I play, right? Romy or all foods? Romy. Okay. I don't play all foods. Romy. Or go to park. Or go to park. Yeah. That's lighter. All right. So, farmer, how this game is played, I'm going to shuffle the deck. Mm. And if you get a joker... You have to tell me a joke. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. And if, <laughs> yeah. and if, when I flip the card, you have to either tell me high or low. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And if you get two out of these three cards, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to answer any of my hard questions. But okay, if right. I win. Go for that again. Go for that again. <laughs> you if you that. get a joker, yeah. you have to tell me a joke. Right. When I flip the face card, you have mm -hmm. to tell me either high or low mm -hmm. with the numbers. Right? Right. And remember, ace is high because mm -hmm. we're not playing those right, games, right? right? And if you win out two out of the three, mm. you don't have to answer any of my hard questions. Right, no problem. But if you lose, no problem. you know what time it is. Yeah. All right, so let's do this. Some people just lie to in answering hard questions. <laughs> eh? I, just lie, you know I don't that. think you're lying. Lying or lying? All right, you ready? Yeah. Six of spades. All right. High or low? Die low. Low? Yeah. Watch your guy. Ten. All right. Die high. All right. So that's one for me there. So you have to, you say hi, right? Mm. Ooh. All right, one for you. Well. Right, so wait, wait. Let me go. So you're not playing, you're playing. I, I, you put six and I say low. Right. How you get a point? Because it's higher than six. You remember, Tolly is the... Oh, so when you Go play... Go style. Right. So when you play 10, you pull 10 with you. Well, you right? said no. When I flip, this is your face card. Right. So then when I, I asked you high or low, you said low. And right. I got high because it's higher than 6. Right. So that And 10. then you said high now. Right. So, so right. it's higher than the 10. So you have a point uh -huh. now. So I'm watching this now yeah. to determine what come in. Yeah, well, it's right. clearly it's, it's low. All right, let me go, let me go. Clearly, it's low. So right now, I have a point. Yes. You have a point? Yes. I have a point. So I so just have, have another to... point. And if you get it, you get you. Thank you. Go ahead. Will they get through here? Well, let me go here because that is God work. Give You're me not a supposed joker. to ask these questions. Give me a joker. Work with me. All right. You win. But I still have one question for you. Maybe the ask. question you was going to ask me was a question where there's no answer. You sure? Yeah, tell me the question. What you ready the question? for it? Yeah. It's just some fun. What's the question? So, you know, usually persons will love to approach you. Do you ever get that you intimidate people? Me? Yeah. Nah. Or they warm to come to meet you? I's a loving guy. Yeah. I, I, I could charm you. I, trust me, I could get you to like me. Right. 
not boozy, right? The first thing what has happened, right? As a human being, right? You see, like a girl, right? You could know their mood, right? What's my mood? Your mood right now is you're fed up, people bothering you. You can't take it. <laughs> Just so? Right. No, but your mood, so how your face is. No. Right? Mm -hmm. Your face is, yeah, you're thinking, you're just, right. yeah, you're just mellow, right? Right. Now, a girl might pass and you could see she's sad or whatever. The first thing I go say, whoever get mad with them, do study them. And they see she's smiling. Smile, yeah. So, let me tell you half at smiling, whoever that's on that is like, you like you hit it on the nail then, right? If I like you, I will come straight to you and say, I like you. Okay. It's either you like me or you don't like me, so right? So, you like me? I like you. As a friend, if you right. didn't have a husband or something, I know you would have been my type, right? <laughs> but if I like you, if I like you, no, I have a husband, I respect yes. family and them kind of thing, right? If I like somebody and I see somebody, because somebody that see a connection with somebody or whatever, no, you have to get to know that person. But if I see somebody and I like, I say, good afternoon, I like you. Okay. Just so. All right. But just know that too. <laughs> Farmer. Hmm? You have to come back again because we need no to problem. talk more. No like problem. I need to have more time with you. Because, because you, you know why time. you like me. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, how I come with you is real. If you, I do something, right? Mm -hmm. And I wrong, I will tell you I'm sorry. When I write, the way how I will get on, I might become wrong because I might over get on. Yeah, yeah. yeah aggressive. So, but right now I kind of stay calm and, you know, because... Just you're chilling cool. on you know. Well, let's take, let's take a, a chair so that before we I get I like ready, how when you're chairs with me, you give me water. Because I eat in the stage now. You yeah. never tell me how to perform on last mm. minute, but I go do it. As well, I love you. Mm -hmm. So we get ready for the go-loud stage. With these stages. It's coming now. All you come. That's a lie. Right here in the back. Ah, ah, pull. Mm -hmm. I'm not leaving, that's impossible to do. Hey. If you want me to go, you can't be looking the way you do. You can't be cooking the way you do. You can't be looking me. If you want me to go, you can't be looking the way you do. You can't be walking the way you do. Because I don't know what to do, so I'm pleading. Plus, you don't give me no reason. You tell me this is the end of a season. Mash up with ingestion. So. But you don't understand when you watch me. I said, I think that I bring the logic. How oh, you come to touch me? So, and I don't mean no, baby, no. Watch your papa, we're closing like garbage. You put it on the ground, my new outside. You tell me to come to the place of the inside. Baby, go to me, that you go break me. You can be looking the way you do. You can be cooking the way you do. You can be looking me if you want me to go. You can be looking the way you do. You can be walking the way you do. Because I'm looking me. No matter what I say, you ain't hearing. You say the love is disappearing. All the joy and trouble you're clearing. Mash up with the just yes, so. When I met you, mash and tell me. You can be looking the way you do. You can be walking the way you do. Because you can me. <laughs> you don't know who me already. Who did be your good pretty face? Who did be the oil in your waist? Make me feel like I have the chase. You put me already. You're the smart, you know who to spend. Where you take care of the children. This should never end. But if you want me to go. You can be looking the way you do. You can be 
You can't be looking the way you do. You can't be walking the way you do. Because you're walking me too. Come in the yard. Come in the yard. Come in the yard. That's a lie. Come in the yard. 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 Come in the You can be looking the way you do. You can be cooking the way you do. 